YouTube. So, um, I think it was last week I discovered that in <coughs> in my hometown we actually do have a um, zero waste bulk store, um, which I wasn't aware of. Um, so I'd been travelling to Birmingham, which is quite a drive especially when you have a toddler in the car. Our local zero waste shop, um, it's quite minimal at the moment because it's not that busy, but um, I've been trying to make more stuff from scratch. I say from scratch because um, so far I have still been using some stuff that's not made from scratch, like some sources I have some sources I have still been purchasing um, in jars and um, I used to make my own garlic bread when I, when I lived with my mum um, when I was younger um, and want to start doing that again but for now I've still been buying the packaged ones that come with two, two garlic baguettes in one package um, but at some point I'm going to start doing my own again because it's actually quite easy but it's just with a with a two year old running around the place and I've got to bake cookies because you know we we need some snacks in this place there is no snacks like I haven't been buying crisps because you know um, the last time we had crisps in the house was um, we brought some home from holiday when we went with um, the in-laws and they gave us the leftover crisps from the holiday um, and my there's a place near my mum's that will recycle crisp packets so I've been saving them inside here that is chock-a-block full of empty crisp packets and next time I go to my mum's um, I will be giving them to her to take to her local crisp packet recycling place I think it's a cafe but they are like a pickup place they have toiletries, they have refillable laundry stuff, they have refillable cleaning products. Um, I still have a lot of cleaning products left over. Um, though they are cruelty, th cruelty free, they aren't plastic free. So, I will be reusing that plastic packaging with the, um, the zero waste store and filling up my cleaning products once they run out though it will probably be a while before they run out because I'm not one of those mums that needs everything you know dental clean um, I don't think there's a need for that I think if you want your kid to build up an immune system then you need a little bit of bacteria not obviously fully contaminated because that's just gonna make them sick but you need a little bit of bacteria so they can get a little bit into the system and actually build an immunity like a tiny bit of the bacteria isn't gonna make them sick like if it's just like one microbe or whatever you know what I mean they need to be exposed to it to build up an, an immunity so yeah we're gonna be using those up and then we'll be refilling our cleaning products um, they stock um, Ecova washing up liquid so I will be using that service because we are quite happy with um, the washing up liquid that we've been using which is from Recover. Um though I have heard some stuff about them being treated on animals because they've switched companies or something so they do have a bio D washing up liquid so we might use that instead but we'll see we'll see um, I just don't want anything that's treated on animals because um, they have rice and everything, um, we already have stocked up fully on rice and fusilli because we went to the Clean Kilo uh, less than a month ago, but when I went there um, the other day, um, it's called Eco Wolf, it's in Wolverhampton, um, we went there the other day and, well I did on my own, I left my fiance here, said look after our daughter. I'm gonna go 
and stock up on stuff. So I went and stocked up on spices. Um, I got some um, garam masala, um, madras curry powder. Uh, I got some peppercorns, some turmeric. Uh, I can't really remember much else. Um, uh, coriander powder and some stuff and mix because I, I do, do do some chicken dinners involving stuffing. I try to make my own Yorkshire puddings, try to make everything from scratch. Um, I do feel a lot healthier. Um, I, want, I have been baking um, my own cookies or biscuits. They're more like biscuits really. Um, I also baked my own naan bread and there's four batches, like four meals worth of naan breads in the freezer, which to be honest with my family won't last that long because we get through like two to three curries a week, which may sound excessive to some people, but seriously we love curries, especially Thai green, which I don't know a recipe for to make from scratch, so if anyone does please share that. Um, the recipes that I have learned about from scratch are like um, for korma or chicken tikka, which we also like, but not as much as Thai green. Um, yeah, so they have toiletries and everything. I got some roll-on, well not roll-on, like one of those stick cream deodorants. It's from Ben and Anna and I think it's grapefruit or something, but it smells amazing. And I, I, I haven't felt stinky at all. Like, like it just smells a fruit. Um, I smell like, yeah. And my hair is just in a clip right now. Um, I've been using that um, friendly soap company's um, shampoo bar, and. I'm really happy with it but I've always been prone to like frizz around my scalp area so um, I think I need something a bit more oily I don't know but it does feel nice like in the middle parts and after about a day or so it feels good here too so I would recommend um, the friendly soap company um, the one that we have is lavender and tea tree I believe um, so I would definitely recommend them um, but they don't have them in eco wolf um, they have some other ones I can't remember the name of them I didn't really look much because we don't need to buy any more soap bars just yet uh, we've been using that particular soap bar for about three weeks and there is still loads left loads like soap bars last forever as far as I'm concerned because three weeks we'd be using at least two bottles of normal shampoo so yeah um, shower gel um, they have, um, oh, they, they do have, you know, Faith in Nature, the, um, it's supposedly like natural shampoo, but it comes in a plastic bottle in the supermarket. They have a refillable, um, Faith in Nature area in the Eco Wolf. Um, <clears throat> they've got the shower gels from them, the shampoos from them, the conditioners from them, all of it, and you can just stock up on them. Um, which is great, but um, um, I may stock up on the conditioner because we ha we currently have three half empty conditioner bottles. I don't know how we've got three half empty ones, but we currently have three half empty conditioner bottles that only really my daughter is using. I don't think my fiance is yet actually using them at all, but my daughter's using them because her hair gets a bit frizzy. Um, but I don't want to use them because I've actually completely gotten all of that stuff out of my hair. Um, but 
we've got to use them up somehow. <laughs> so once she's used them up, and I think my fiance is using them. I'm not. I'm not sure. He's barely got any hair. But <laughs> um, but that's what kids will do to you. Um, so once they've used that up, I think I might get some faith in nature conditioner because I've heard good things about it. Um, it's all natural, obviously. And if we're refilling from our own conditioner bottle, like an old conditioner bottle, then we're not using a new plastic bottle from the supermarket or whatever, because they do sell them in Sainsbury's. But, um, yeah, our bookstore's got them. Our bookstore also sells um, soap knots and cloth nappies, but we've already got all our cloth nappies that we really need. I would like some more pockets because, yeah, we are finding pockets so much easier. Um, and I wish that I had realised this before getting nine covers. Um, pockets are much easier and I don't worry so much about my fiance getting the fit right because I know that the insert is straight because it doesn't really move much once it's actually inside the pocket but um yeah they have cough nappies they have cough wipes they have um, bamboo earbuds they have bamboo toothbrushes and they've got all of the pastas and spices and um, they've even got some eco-friendly um, children's books that tell stories about, um, like, about helping the rainforest and the waters and all that sort of stuff. Um, I was tempted to get some for, um, well, we were tempted to get some for my fiancé's nieces and nephews for Christmas, but we were worried that they might seem a bit too preachy. We need to have a better look at them, I think. Um, just to check that out but we were just worried that we might seem a bit too preachy because like my fiance he's supporting me but I don't think he's super invested in it like he still loves his Yorkshire tea bags despite the fact they have my microplastics in them um, and I can't like you know so I don't want to be pushing it on to him to be preachy to his family if you understand what I mean so, um, yeah, they've got quite a lot in there. They, they didn't have any um, bamboo like hair brushes or hair combs, which is what I really wanted. Also, I want um, like a soap dish, a ladder sort of one, to really get rid of the water residue and everything, because so, our soap is getting really mushy. At the moment, we've got it in a bit of a like Tupperware dish because um, just to on a bit of a they're, they're like tilted against the side of the Tupperware dish but the tip of it still ends up in the water so we want to get a yeah we're just sort of using what we have at the moment um, like we have um, we've still got some toothpaste and plastic tubes um, I have got some toothpaste tablets um, so I've been trying them, getting used to them, but also using the toothpaste in the tube at night time, like alternating, like one in the morning, one at night, but um, so that we can still, um, yeah, my fiance hasn't really touched the toothpaste tablets, but I don't know if, I don't think our daughter would be able to manage it, so I want to get some of that natural toothpaste that comes in a jar because that would be much easier for our daughter to manage. Um, we've just been trying to change everything up a bit, basically. But, um, my makeup is still in the process of being used up. I think it could take a couple of years because I don't wear makeup that much. I know that it's only, you're only supposed to use makeup for like 12 months before throwing it out, but I never follow use by dates, like, ever. Um, uh, I can't think of anything else. One minute. Okay, so this is the deodorant that I got from Eco Wolf the other day. You just pull that up like that, and that's like a creamy deodorant. You just stick it on. Um, 
it's easier if your body's a bit warm so it like kind of melts onto you um, it smells fantastic um, and it says supports supports ocean cleaning which is great um, they also have um, cloth sanitary pads day and night ones in eco wolf um, they have um, like snacks like um, yogurt coated raisins banana chips um, which I'm thinking would make fantastic stocking fillers for my daughter because she loves raisins, she loves yoghurt, she loves bananas. Zero waste stocking fillers! <laughs> um, um, yeah, Eco Wolf is a fantastic addition to our town and I'm so grateful to the owner for opening it up. I swear next time that I go in I will actually ask for your name. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry I didn't ask your name. Um, I'm bad. Um, but yeah, it, it was brilliant. Like The com conversation was great and, you know, friendly. There wasn't many I was the only one in there apart from the owner and you know we were just chatting they've got um, fair trade vegan chocolate um, Epsom salts which I've added some um, lavender and eucalyptus um, essential oils to and made some um, bath salts to, for my dad so they're just like plain Epsom salts when you buy them in bulk and then I've put some essential oils in to make some muscle relief basalts for my dad for his birthday. Um, uh, yeah, most of it's like toiletries and cleaning products. Oh, they have the Who Gives a Crap toilet paper in there. Um, or the Eco Leaf, I think it's called, toilet paper. Um, but the lady is so friendly and um, easy to talk to. Um, if you live in the Wolverhampton area, then definitely check out Eagle Wolf. Um, just remember to take your own containers. And um, next time I go, I'm definitely going to try and get um, appropriate size containers, which is difficult because I haven't. Um, you kind of have to buy them in order to be able to fill them. Like, um, they don't have mixed herbs in there at the moment, but she said that she may get them um, along with yeast because I asked for them and some other people have been asking for them apparently. Um, so I had to go to Sainsbury's and buy mixed herbs, but I got them in a, um, a glass jar with a metal lid. So when that runs out, hopefully Eco, Eco Leaf will have them in stock and I can just fill up that jar. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I could do that with most of the herbs and spices because then at least I'll have jars that have labels on them um, and most of my um, jars and stuff with spices in got um, recycled when they went out because it was before I went zero waste and before um, before I discovered Eco Wolf so I didn't realise the possibilities of filling it up. Um, but, uh, yeah. If I had kept them, I could have just filled those up. Um, I have um, filled up the sauce jars from the pasta sauce and stuff because that's the main sauce that I buy because I'm obsessed with sausage and pasta, with pasta sauce. It's gorgeous, especially with some nice garlic bread. But I need to start making it from scratch, which is why I bought some tomatoes in my own reusable produce bag from Sainsbury's the other day. I now have five um, reusable fruit and veg bags, or produce bags, <coughs> that I can 
reuse each time I go to Sainsbury's. Um, they're 30p each, so not too bad, and they fit quite a bit in each. Um, like, I get large potatoes that are like probably about the width of my vase, and yeah, so probably about that sort of size. Um, because that will do my, like, the three of us for either chips or mash or pretty much anything potato -y related. That is a good size us um, and I bought about four of them and they all fit in this bag they sell them at Sainsbury's 30p each um, they don't do plastic packs anymore it's brilliant but anyway we're supposed to be talking about eco wool and I think that more shops need to be open like this in my mum's hometown they don't have any sort of like zero waste or bulk store or you know vegan or low impact store or anything um, the only things that my mum can get that's even slightly zero waste is loose fruit and vegetables um, going to the meat counter which are both things that I do anyway for our meat and vegetables um, but in terms of like you know cereals and all that and toiletries she either has to order online or get a non-sustainable option that you know has like a plastic film or whatever so definitely more more shops like this need to be opening or the large supermarkets could just open a book section like why don't they do this they could have a book section um, for people that are bringing their own bags they could have you know one single aisle that is lined with refillable um, like containers. You know, you get your porridge, you get your pasta, all that jazz. And they could have like a um, a cooling station or whatever that has refillable milk. I mean, what would be difficult about that? So yeah, that's something the supermarkets should think about. I don't think it'd be too difficult to you. Um, I'll just, um, yeah, I blow dried it today so it's looking a bit drier, but um, yeah that's basically what it looks like. It's not fantastic, but to be fair I don't really look after my hair that much. I just want to be cleaning it naturally and all that jazz and not be producing so much plastic waste. Um, so yeah, if you're in the WV area, Wolverhampton, definitely check out EcoWolf. It is amazing like I can't believe I don't have to travel to get to a bulk shop now it's fantastic and it's literally basically next to the Sainsbury's that I go to so I can just go to Eco Wolf get all of the things that they actually stock that I can get in bulk like the grains and the pastas and all that stuff and um, cleaning products and that and then go straight over to Sainsbury's get my veg go to the meat counter get my meat and the fish and cheese and all that sorted nice easy zero way shop um, th yeah they have muesli there at Eco Wolf so I can just get my partner's muesli from there um, I believe they had porridge but I can't remember but if they have porridge, then that will be what me and my daughter will be having from now on. I won't eat muesli because it has things in it that I don't like. I'm a very picky eater. Um, but my daughter likes porridge. Um, I could get some honey for her. I might get some honey and then we can put honey in it. Seeing as she's allowed honey now that she's past the one-year-old stage. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, I've been rambling on for too long. Eco Wolf is amazing. Yeah. Eco Wolf is amazing. If you live near near it, check it out. Um, I think I'm gonna hashtag it and everything, just so that you know people nearby can see the video. Um, but thank you for watching. Um, if you are new here, then you know please subscribe. If you're not new here, then continue being subscribed and please like the video um, if you did like it. Um, <laughs> and thank you for watching and I'll see you I can't speak today. See you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.